Hey there, teachers with the first day of school approaching. Are you feeling a mix of nerves and excitement? Are you looking for some fun welcome back to school activities ideas? Well, fear not. I have a treasure trove of super fun and engaging welcome back to school activity ideas ready for your first and second graders. I have mentioned a few adaptations as well. These will just be just right for everyone. I love that these activities are also a perfect fit for establishing classroom management. Let's jump right in and make those first school days unforgettable for you and your students with these welcome back to school activities ideas. But just one moment first as I share with you a little bit about an opportunity I have for you. Hey there teachers, Marion Busfield here with Engaging Curiosity. Thanks so much for joining me here for one of my weekly videos. As a faith-led, retired classroom and SPED teacher, my passion is to support you on your journey to calm classroom chaos and elevate student engagement in ways that free up your time outside of the classroom. Despite my passion for teaching, my transition from learning support into the classroom filled me with fear and trepidation. I knew at least some of my weaknesses and that left me with some imposter syndrome. Fortunately, as a former SPED coordinator, homeschool parent and teacher, literacy interventionist and program coordinator and most importantly wife to a high school teacher and mother of two i brought decades of diverse experiences with me that i'm here to share with you as i applied everything i learned classroom management became a breeze and teaching became everything i had believed it could be i have bolded it all down to five pillars of classroom management upon which everything else rests. To find out more about those five pillars of classroom management, download my free classroom management checklist. The link is in the description below. For now, let's get back to today's topic. This first welcome back to school activities ideas is for when you finished establishing classroom management. Students are getting settled into routines once more, and this movement-based activity is perfect as they settle in. A nature scavenger hunt is a wonderful way to get the school year started on the right note. For using this as a welcome back to school activities idea in the school year, or in school yard or in a nearby forest, I've included worksheets in the comments below. If neither of those worksheets suit you, simply create a checklist with items like leaves, rocks and flowers, and let the kiddos team up and hunt for them in the school garden or playground. Better yet, do a quick brainstorm together of what they can be looking for. Have them copy it from the board and make their own checklist. While establishing classroom management, help your students to understand that the more they follow classroom expectations, the more engaging activities like this are possible. Your students will love getting outside and you'll see their curiosity and excitement ignite. All first grade architects and second grade builders love to construct. Challenge your students to build the highest, strongest, or even goofiest structure using popsicle sticks, tape, paper, glue, or whatever comes to mind. This hands-on back to school activity is a great STEM activity and promotes problem solving and team while it creates student engagement and motivation. You will be amazed at their creative ideas and you will get a snapshot of how they work collaboratively use their social emotional skills and honor classroom expectations. Who knows, you might have some future engineers in your class. Take your class outside for some engaging outdoor science experiments. Explore the water cycle by setting up an evaporation station or dig into the secrets of soil properties. Students love to see science concepts come to life before their eyes. Outside is the perfect place for hands-on learning and your students will be buzzing with excitement about this back to school activity as they conduct their experiments. Establishing expectations is always essential before going outside, before group work and before science experiments. So make sure you have that in place. This is a great opportunity for you to observe and affirm their choices. For uh, back to school art gardening activities, are you interested in planting the seeds of knowledge and responsibility? Start a back to school fall garden, a classroom garden, or even a terrarium. Let your students get their hands dirty as they plant and care for their own plants 
Hands-on learning is an integral part of differentiation in the classroom, and it is also a fantastic way to teach self-regulating social-emotional skills to your outdoorsy types. Gardening teaches them about science and nature, and it creates a sense of ownership and patience as they watch their little green buddies grow. What a wonderful opportunity to teach them about sustainability and healthy eating habits with some simple crops like beans and radishes. So coding is definitely a blast for first and second graders. Introduce your students to the world of coding through interactive games and coding platforms specially designed just for their age group. They navigate through fun challenges, developing some logical thinking, computational skills, and maybe even their growth mindset along the way. Coding prepares them for the digital age and it nurtures creativity and problem solving abilities too. Problem solving is an essential skill for developing a growth mindset. Hey there again. Thank you for spending this time with me. Just a reminder about the free classroom management checklist. Find the link in the description below. Invite your students to spend an afternoon making arts and crafts. Provide your students with materials like colored paper, magazines and fabric and watch them get creative as they make collages. Assign or theme or topic or don't. Use this activity as an opportunity to really teach into how students will gather their supplies and transition into the activities or the art activities. Enhance your classroom management as you use this activity to establish classroom routines and organization by clarifying expectations prior to getting started. Then simply affirm their choices. This activity nurtures their artistic talents and encourages self-expression while boosting their fine motor skills. Have them share their creations. This turns this back to school activity into a fun community building activity. Time to take art class outside. Head out to the playground or on a field trip and take a nature walk with your little artists and collect leaves, flowers and small branches. Now you have a couple of options. When you get back to school, give them paint and let their imaginations run wild as they use nature's gifts as paintbrushes to create unique and textured masterpieces. Give them a three by five piece of black construction paper and have them create a picture with their collection. Place a frame around it, take a photo of their creation. Later on, you can print off all of the photos. Black and white is just fine. And you have a fantastic bulletin board ready to go. A simple way to keep track of the photos for the record is by taking the photos straight to a Google Doc, which is what I did on my phone, so I could type in their name to keep the photos straight. Made life super simple. Either of these hands-on nature-based art activities encourages creativity and develops an appreciation of the beauty of the natural world. Draw your students into a discussion about how they felt as they created their artwork. Elaborate upon those ideas and make this engaging back-to-school activity an opportunity for social emotional learning. Create a sense of classroom community with black back to school activities for students that are also team building activities. Create a sense of um, classroom community with activities that involve your students in fun challenges like the Tower of Cups. The goal is to work together to build the tallest tower using plastic cups or try the human knot, have them form a circle and then attempt to untangle themselves without letting go of each other's hands. These fun back to school activities promote communication and problem solving and create a positive and supportive class culture. Excuse me. When combined, these work directly on growth mindset, social emotional learning and classroom community. Not too shabby. You could also explore a virtual field trip as a back to school activity. Take your students to museums, national parks, historical sites, and even other countries while sitting in their desks. They will love exploring these virtual wonders and you will open their hearts and minds to other people, places, and cultures. And in many grades, it's also a part of your curriculum. Assign your students to work in small groups on projects like creating a classroom newspaper where each group contributes articles for different sections. As you discuss the activity or activities you choose, refer back to classroom expectations and rules. 
discuss how they decided they wanted to treat each other and what might be the natural consequence of not treating each other that way. Or start on a community project such as creating a mural for a local park or organizing a fundraiser for a charitable cause. These projects not only develop academic and social skills, but also instill a sense of community and responsibility in your students. Collab collaborative projects encourage teamwork and can develop peer support in your classroom. My very fat first back to school day in the classroom meant tensions were high and I was awash in uncertainty. What was today going to look like? Did I have enough for the kiddos to do? Were they the right back to school activities? I only considered the first day because that was all I had planned. But this was a brand new classroom and my time had been focused on ordering supplies and speaking with the custodian about changes to the classroom. I realized if I could just feel completely ready for the first day, I could plan the second day. Slowly and over time, I would get a little bit further ahead. My first back to school day as a classroom teacher sped by. The adventure begins with back to school activities. As you step into this year as an elementary school teacher, remember that the first days of school are about building connections and setting the tone for the year ahead. Head outside, unleash creativity through art, or by embarking on a real or virtual field trip. These things will bring smiles, laughter, and a greater sense of community to your classroom. Breathe deep, embrace your joy of teaching, and let the fun and excitement of these back-to-school activities spark your students' lifelong love for learning. Thanks for joining me today. I hope to see you soon. Bye for now. One final thank you for sharing your time with me today. I want to encourage you that growth for a teacher is just like growth for a student, one step at a time. Be kind to yourself and congratulate yourself for each step forward that you take. You have been blessed with an amazing calling. The, the challenges are many, but I'm here to support you. You've got this. With my desire to walk with you in mind, I offer one last reminder. If you found this or any other video helpful, I encourage you to download the free classroom management checklist. Find the link in the description below. Thanks for joining me today and I hope to see you soon. Bye now.